Hi, I'm Krat. I'm Addison. And I'm October. We are not pornography. I'm I'm not pornography either. Uh, we're here at Warp One Comics, and this is that's a good question. Today we're talking to Hannah Spear, the genius behind Sexy Nerd Girl and Versus Valerie. Hi. Hello, Hannah Spear. Hi. We're big fans of your web serieses. Hi, guys. I'm a pretty big, massive fan of uh, your web serieses, too. <laughs> we just have the one. Just, just this the one. one. Just this guy. Just the one guy. We yeah, but cool. you have two. You have a, a vlog and you have a web series, but they're not as Hannah Spear. They're as a character, Valerie LaPalm. You've got that right. Yes, I play uh, Valerie, who is an awesome, vivacious 20-something, kind of navigating uh, her life and uh, loving all things geeky, nerdy, with uh, fiery passion. And I understand you've had quite a few uh, guest stars on your series. Alan Frew of Glass Tiger, anyone? Wow, hey. Yes. Mm, don't forget him when he's gone. Mr. Bob Wiseman. Bob Wiseman? He is a wise man. That guy's great. And Mark Muir, right? Isn't he a voice on a video game or something? You got it. He's a Commander Shepard on Mass Effect for all of you living under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, so all of the episodes are out and they're all online. How's the reaction been? It's been pretty awesome. Uh, we just recently were at Fan Expo and we had a lot of people coming up to us um, saying how much they love the show, how much they connect with the character of Valerie. And uh, because every episode of our show is sort of centered around a different nerdy or geeky thing that we love, uh, it's hard not to connect with at least one episode because we have uh, like a Doctor Who episode, Star Wars episode, we even have a Joss Whedon musical episode, which is my personal favorite. So, How about a hypothetical date? What would you do if you could take Joss Whedon out on the town? For a night. Yeah. Hmm. I probably would go out to get some Chinese food. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. I love dumplings. Mm. Um, and then I'd probably, we go to the video store and I'd just be like, Joss, rent your top three favorite movies. I want to know what your favorite movies are. And then go back to my place, watch them. And then what? And then what Pretty would boring. happen? Probably eat some ice cream, just chat, and then I'd be like, "Well, good night," and then I'd go to bed in my own bed, and and he'd go um, back he'd to his wife just and sit in the living room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there have been a few occasions in the course of versus Valerie where you've had to put yourself in the line of fire. So, uh, for example, in that episode, being teabagged. Yes. Uh, at the end of the episode, also there's an episode where someone spat in your mouth, and they just <laughs> actually spat in your mouth. Yeah. Did you get extra uh, danger pay for that? Or... Oh, hell, hell no. How many times did you have to do that particular scene? Uh, I think we shot four takes of that. And each time <laughs> someone horked into your mouth? Yes. Was it a hork or was it a mostly saliva spit? Um, our director, Mike Fly, uh, specifically asked the actor to uh, hork up a loogie so we could really get the, the feel of the spit going into my mouth. And, did, uh, did you ever feel like you were going to vomit as that was happening? Like, did, or were you good with it? We had uh, Listerine on standby, and there were a couple times where I gagged. Mm -hmm. oh. But I love my craft. Hannah, I'm going to take a <laughs> risk and get a little serious here. Mm -hmm. Now, Sexy Neuro Girl as a vlog has dipped into some pretty serious issues of feminism. You guys dropped this one video that was uh, a call out to male gamers to be more sensitive to feminism uh, uh, as they go about their sort of verbal abuse part of video gaming. Uh, what, what was the reaction to that and how did you feel about it personally? Um, the reaction was both positive and negative, mm. uh, which I think only demonstrates how we how much we need a video like that and uh, more females speaking up against discrimination like that, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of whether it is in gaming or just in their everyday life or in the workplace or wherever. Especially if you go to Comic Cons and you see women cosplaying and, and dressing up as uh, characters that they love, it's like it's not an excuse for 
dudes to be gross and creepy towards them. It's everybody should be respectful towards each other because we're all just humans and we all just love what we love. So why can't we enjoy it all together? So today's good question is who's your favorite superheroine? That's a female superhero, not an opiate. Ooh, good question. Why don't we start with you, Hannah? Who's your favorite? I think my favorite superhero would probably have to be Jean Grey. Mm. AKA Marvel Girl, AKA yes. Phoenix, AKA Dr. Grey. Phoenix. Yes. Um, I just like her because she's intelligent, she's beautiful, she's got a level head, but then sometimes, you know, like a lot of ladies and men I know, she just gets taken over. <laughs> By a dark phoenix force. By a dark phoenix force. <laughs> and her costume school, and uh, I, I just like her. <laughs> I'm going to go with the image universe and uh, choose Adam Eve. Adam Eve, of course, the romantic partner of Invincible. Uh, uh, she has uh, uh, molecule changing powers. You know, I just uh, I, I like her as a character. I find her uh, well rounded. I think her powers are cool. And uh, I, like, I love the way she's drawn. You know, by Ryan Otley, uh, uh, she's, uh, she's got a real body, it's great. I'm gonna go with uh, Kitty Pride, Shadowcat, from the X-Men. Mm. She is, uh, it, she's kinda seems weak, cause she's just intangible. But uh, the more that they've been playing with her character, the more powerful she gets. She's got a cool thing she can do where she lets the Earth's gravity, like the Earth's rotation, just go around her, and she just goes through the Earth so she can travel really, really far, almost instantly. Wow, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, they don't use it often. My favorite superheroine would be Barbara Gordon, though not in her incarnation as Batgirl, but rather as Oracle. I thought she was quite an interesting character. So there we go. We've got Jean Grey, Kitty Pride, uh, Oracle, Adam Eve. Who's your favorite superheroine? Post in the comments below and try to avoid sexist comments if at all possible. I'd have to go with the morally ambiguous Catwoman. See you guys next time. I did not think she was going to say that. Yeah, I, she thought she, I thought she was going to say Storm. Yeah. something else. Yeah. Huh. Bye, Hannah. Bye. <laughs>